to start off with the basic cotangent graph. It uh, again uses the fact of the unit circle definition and um, the all students take calculus uh, format to find you know, when it's positive and negative and the fact that the cotangent of 45 or pi over 4 is equal to 1. Alright, so if we start over here at 0, oh, and it does take into fact that cotangent on a unit circle of an angle is equal to the coordinate x over y. Remember, this only works if it's on a unit circle. So if we're over here on the unit circle at 1, 0, the cotangent of 0 is going to be undefined because it'll be 1 over 0. So we get a vertical asymptote at 0. Up here at pi over 2, it's going to be 0 over 1, which is just 0, that's fine. And then as we come back down here to pi, uh, it's going to be negative 1 over 0, it's going to be undefined again. So this thing is undefined at 0 and pi. That means they're going to be vertical asymptotes at these um, points. We also know that the cotangent of pi over 4 is equal to 1. Um, and as we move between 0 and pi, we also run through 3 pi over 4. And I know that's going to be negative 1 because the only thing positive in this quadrant is sine. So let's get to the graph. Um, we're going to put our vertical asymptotes in first. One of them is occurring at zero. Very hard to draw on your own uh, because it is right on the y-axis. So the best thing is either like color pencils, a marker, whatever, just so you can recognize where that vertical asymptote is. And the other one again occurs at this pi because of the undefinedness, negative one over zero. And then we're gonna plot in our points. At uh, pi over two, this is equal to 0. At pi over 4, this is equal to 1, the cotangent of pi over 4. And the cotangent of neg or, um, 3 pi over 4, which is here, is negative 1, which would be down here. So as we draw this in, it's going to look like the tangent graph a little bit that got flipped. And basically it is. It's a tangent graph that gets flipped, but it's also moved from 0 over here to pi over 2. So it's shifted to the right pi over 2 units. And just like the tangent graph, this one repeats itself every um, pi unit. So at pi over 2, we're going to get another vertical asymptote. And in the middle of this interval, which would be 3 pi over 2, cotangent is equal to 0. The graph comes down, goes through that point, and shoots on down that vertical asymptote. So this would be the cotangent graph repeated over and over again. And again, the period of the cotangent, just like the tangent function is going to be 2 pi. So let's take this and uh, translate it and have a little bit more fun with it, a little more complex type function with cotangent. So I, I created this one, cotangent of 2 thirds x plus pi over 6. And just like with the sine and the cosine ones, we're going to take the inside of this cotangent function, 2 thirds x plus pi over 6, and we're going to set it equal to the period of this function. And since it's cotangent, the period is just pi. And I'm going to solve for x, but not combine any like terms. So I'm going to move the pi over 6 over. And my habit is to put the translation first and the period second. So negative pi over 6 plus pi. And then I'm going to multiply everything by 3 halves, the multiplicative uh, inverse of 2 thirds. So multiplying everything by 3 halves, will give me my translation and period for this function. So I'm going to get x is equal to uh, negative pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 2. So this part here is the translation. It's being moved to the uh, left pi over 4 units. And this piece over here is the new uh, period of this function. And just like with the tangent one, I'm going to take this period and I'm going to cut it in half. That, I want to find the halfway point uh, between the vertical asymptotes. So um, 3 pi over 2 cut in half, so 3 pi over 2, and I want to multiply that by a half. That'll give me 3 pi over 4. So this will be my cut pieces. So I have this 3 pi over 4 as the cut pieces cuts. 
and I have a negative pi over 4 translation uh, that I'm going to add to each one of my cuts. Alright, so I'll put my um, 0 in for my cotangent. Now the 0 for cotangent is going to be 0. It's going to start at 0 just like sine and cosine, unlike tangent which starts, you know, uh, 0 in the middle. So it's going to go 0 and then I'm going to move to the right. So I'll put 0 in this position. My cuts are going to be 3 pi over 4. So the first cut is 3 pi over 4. The next cut will be uh, another 3 pi over 4, which is 6 pi over 4, also known as 3 pi over 2. And remember, this last number is supposed to match up with the new period, which is this 3 pi over 2. So that worked out well. Alright, now I have to take care of, oops, might as well go back here, the negative pi over 4 translation. So I'm going to take away pi over 4 from each one of my cuts. So subtract pi over 4 from each one, and I uh, get these new values. It starts here at negative pi over 4. That's going to be my vertical asymptote. This is going to be, well, that's an easy one. 3 pi over 4 minus pi over 4 is 2 pi over 4, better known as pi over uh, 2. And then this was 6 pi over 4, so that'll be 5 pi over 4. All right, so the outer ones are going to be the vertical asymptotes. The middle one is where the graph is going to hit um, zero. So let's see here. Negative pi over 4 for a vertical asymptote. That would be here. It's just to the left of pi over 6 in this pi over 12 cut. And the other vertical asymptote is at 5 pi over 4. So here's 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4, 5 pi over 4 is over here. This is a very wide graph. Alright, and smack dab in the middle, the graph at pi over 2 is going to go straight through here. Now since this is a cotangent, it's a positive cotangent, it's going to come down on the left, go through 0, pi over, or pi over 2, 0, and then kind of go on down that way. So this would be one period of the g of x graph here. Uh, another period would just take too long, but we can kind of figure out where the next zero point would be. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Pi over 2. So the graph would come down here, go through pi over 2, and eventually someplace down the line, go down. And that's it.